Hi guys, welcome back to a very special episode of GNG News. So as you can see, Generation 4 Pokemon are coming to Pokemon Go in the near future. Almost a year after introducing the first Generation 3 Pokemon from the Hoenn region, Pokemon Go is finally making its way to the next generation. On Tuesday, Pokemon Go developer Niantic announced that fresh Pokemon from the Shinna region will soon begin to appear in Pokemon Go. And in preparation of their rival, the development team is making a few changes to the game balance to promote an improved overall experience. We don't actually know when we can expect to see the first Gen 4 Pokemon, but it's anything like the Gen 3 rollout. We'll probably get the new Pokemon piecemeal over the next several months. Gen 4 Pokemon debut in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, both of which hit DS in Japan back in 2006. I can't believe it was that old ago. As for the game, Niantic is making changes to both the behavior and migration patterns of wild Pokemon, as well as changes to how effective certain Pokemon are in battle. Uh, so it says changes to Pokemon migration and behavior. We are making adjustments to weather and moving forward it will have a reduced effect on the rate of which Pokemon appear. As you explore a given area you will notice that a greater variety of Pokemon species will appear over time at a different rate. Certain areas such as parks and nature reserves will now contain more varied Pokemon species. Changes to Pokemon effectiveness in battle. So, CP value will be adjusted going forward to improve game balance. So these are combat points. HP, which is health points, values will be adjusted to close the gap between high HP Pokemon and low HP Pokemon. Pokemon defense and stamina value will be ret retroactively rebalanced, allowing highly defense Pokemon to be valuable in battle by out lasting opponents rather than simply running out the clock. The defense values have also been slightly retroactively reduced for most Pokemon changes like these will help narrow the gap between Pokemon with highest defense stat and other Pokemon it appears as if Niantix is using the generation 4 launch as an opportunity to allow trainers to encounter more varied Pokemon of Pokemon types in the wild while also making some Pokemon that were previously ineffective in gym battles more potent. No release date for these changes yet, but when they roll out in the coming weeks, we shall sure to be up here to update you. So, thank you for watching another episode of GNG News. Tell me what Pokemon you're excited from Generation 4, who you're looking forward to seeing. And I shall catch up with you other people in another episode of GNG News. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. Like this video if you think it deserves a like. Share it with your friends if you want other people to see this. Comment in the comment section down below if there's anything I could possibly do for you guys. And I shall see you all in another episode of GMG News. It is so messy today, guys. I cannot even see in front of my face.